Simple circuits can be analyzed using Ohm's law and the rules for series and parallel combination of resistors. For more complex networks, we may use Kirchhoff's laws. The first Kirchhoff law states that the sum of all currents leaving a node in an electrical network is zero. In mathematics, the same is written in this way. To explain the law, we take a look at a node with three branches. It means that I1 plus I2 plus I3 in this node is equal to zero. In this example, I1 is 2 amps and I2 is 3 amps. Using the first law, we can easily calculate that I3 is minus 5 amps. The second Kirchhoff law states that the sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero. Again, the mathematical definition is given. Let's take a look at an example of a closed loop within a network. The sum of the voltage differences between the four nodes A, B, C and D is zero. Suppose now that the voltage rise between A and B is 2 volts, between C and D also 2 volts, and between D and A 6 volts. We can now easily calculate that BC is minus 10 volts. How can we use Kirchhoff's laws to solve a more complex network? As an example, we take a bridge circuit. Using Kirchhoff's first law, we can write the equations for the following three nodes where the sum of currents in the nodes are zero. Using Kirchhoff's second law, we can write down the equations for the following three loops where the sum of voltage differences is zero. We use the six sets of equations to find the calculation for I5. This video is too short to explain all steps, but by using simple algebra you can try it yourself. What we can learn from this equation is that I5 is zero when the ratio between resistor 1 and 2 is equal to the ratio of resistor 3 and 4. This was a short introduction in how Kirchhoff's laws are used to solve more complex networks. If you want to know more about resistors or solving networks, take a look at resistorguide.com.